Welcome to another edition of Let's Play WWE 2015. We are a few days away from Survivor Series this Sunday live on pay-per-view. And this is the final SmackDown before that show. If you remember, in, our, in the last video on Monday... Mystery, intrigue, surprise, shock value, whatever you want to call it, was the main cog in the machine on Raw with mysterious attacks on both Randy Orton and John Cena, causing the main event to not happen and leaving the question in everybody's mind, who is going to face Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, but also... Who attacked Orton and Cena? Now, we are going to kick off SmackDown, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, get some answers. The pre-show match sees R-Truth up against David Otunga, and R-Truth is victorious. Now we move to the opening segment with... Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, and Jerry Lawler welcoming us to Friday Night Smackdown as they talk about the events that I touched on at the top of this video regarding what happened on Monday Night Raw and what this may mean for Survivor Series and a WWE World Heavyweight title. Right after we move from the announcers, we move backstage as a limousine pulls up outside the arena and it is Stephanie and Triple H who get out of the limousine and they are as pissed off as they were Monday Night on Raw leaving questions. Do they know something? Did anything change? What do they know? Why are they here? What are we going to find out? You got to wait and see because they will be in the ring later tonight. Now we move back to the ring with The Miz taunting Dolph Ziggler regarding and uh, building up rather the A-list gauntlet which is really a one on three handicap match but the A-list gauntlet where if Dolph is victorious then Dolph gets a title shot against The Miz this Sunday at Survivor Series. And Miz after Miz introduces all of the competitors in the match, excluding Dolph Ziggler. We find out Dolph wins following a botched interference from The Miz, who, I guess you can say, didn't believe in the people he selected that were selected to be in the gauntlet, which you see in the pictures is Bo Dallas, Ryback, and Fandango. <clears throat> so that means that this Sunday night, live on pay-per-view, you will see Dolph Ziggler against The Miz. And that's what leads to The Miz throwing a temper tantrum after the match because he is pissed off that he has to defend his title against Dolph Ziggler this Sunday. Now, though he's not involved or his picture is not up there, uh, Triple H and Stephanie are talking to ag an agent backstage that looks a lot like Billy Kidman. And they're talking about um, what happened last week and that they are making sure that security is more present tonight, meaning uh, excess, more security than what they had on Raw, and that the raised security will help in preventing another attack. But now we move to the next match, which is Natalia against Alicia Fox as Natalia prepares for her match this Sunday against AJ for the Divas title where the and the winner of the match will be Divas champion 
But Natalia is up against Alicia Fox tonight as a tune-up. Natalia goes off and taunts AJ Lee, saying that since for the longest time she's felt disrespected, she's felt forgotten about, and this Sunday is when she makes everybody remember the name Natalia, and that. Change is evident in every walk of life, in every moment. But change is long overdue for this company, for WWE. They've made it to change for a long time. And it's past the date to change. But that's why I'm here. I have come to make change happen. I have come to change the game. That's why I held, that's why you did not see SmackDown because I held it back. You will not see SmackDown until I'm ready for you to see SmackDown because they said they were gonna hold it back until they figured out a direction. That's before I stuck my nose in their business. Because when I put my money in a project, in a company, I am not one to be a silent investor. I am one to be hands on. I have enough stocks in this company to let my voice be heard and have it mean something. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because they can't stop me. You can't stop me. The WWE will change. And it will fit my vision. The future is bright. For a company whose future was dark before me, but now I will make them see the light. I will resuscitate the depth of WWE. I will bring back the workhorses. I will re-work the freedom that once was here in the past. Change is coming to WWE, and I am the one to do it. You just wait and see what I do next. Believe me. It's worth waiting for.